Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Myth Busting. This episode we are going to do some testing with Enderman to answer many of the suggested myths you have been asking for in the comments, most of which ask what blocks can Enderman pick up. Now there is information about this on the Minecraft wiki, however its source is over two years old and since then many new blocks have been added to the game. So I have built this testing facility so we can test what blocks Enderman can pick up. Inside we can place different blocks to test and Enderman can be spawned inside using command blocks. Then when we observe an Enderman picking up a block we make note of it and despawn all of the Enderman using command blocks before it places the block back down. Now this relies on Enderman being able to despawn when holding a block, which is one of the myths that has been requested in the comments. So to bust another mini myth while we are at it, it is possible for an Enderman to place any block type down if they are spawned in holding a block they can't pick up. So getting back to the testing we are doing, Enderman will be unable to teleport outside of the testing facility, which means we can contain them for two tests. For the first test, we will be checking that the pick upable blocks listed on the wiki are correct, and in the second test, we will check all of the blocks added to the game since this information was made available to see which of those blocks Enderman can pick up. So there we go, a lot of things happened in that time lapse, some blocks got picked up, some blocks got put down, but here I have the results of our test. Now we started off by testing the blocks that the wiki said Enderman could pick up, and all of these were correct with the exception of lily pads. As you saw we tested this for some time and not a single Enderman picked one up. Now this is a change that we found in the 1.6.4 code, so for the rest of our testing there were no other blocks that the Enderman picked up until we got to the 1.7 update. In this test we found that the Enderman could pick up the red sand, the podzole, the dirt that grass doesn't spread to, and all eight of the new one high flower types. So as I explained in the last episode, we still don't have access to the 1.7 game code, but Saigai Ryan checked the 1.6 code and found that Endermen have a list of blocks they can pick up. This is interesting because it means that any newly added blocks cannot be picked up by default. So if an Enderman can pick up a new block, it's because Mojang have changed the Enderman's code to specify that it can, which is what they have most likely done with the 1.7 update. 
So that is it for another episode of Minecraft Myth Busting. If you have enjoyed it, please do leave a like, it will always be appreciated. And at the end of this video, I just want to ramble on for a second about some of the comments that I've been receiving in some of the recent episodes. Now, I've been criticised the way I do some of my testing. Some people think it's flawed or that there's something wrong with it. And sometimes there is. Sometimes people are picking at hairs, but everyone has the right to their opinion. And I just wanted to let you guys know that there's a lot of stuff you don't see going on with these episodes that don't make it into the video. You know, there's research before I do the episode. I read the game code. I figure out what's going to go on. So when I make these videos, I display the information to you in a way that's fun. I sort of take you through the process of how I've understood the things that are going on in the game. And the time lapses are often a way of demonstrating what's happening in the game just for a bit of fun and they're not always the most accurate of tests. For example, today with the Enderman farm you could argue that just because those Endermen didn't pick up certain block types doesn't mean they can't pick them up, just that they chose not to on that occasion and that is a perfectly good point but it doesn't make for a fun time lapse and in this case I could also prove which blocks they could pick up due to the way that the game code worked. But the point there would be that if I were to test it you know for hours and hours and hours then I'd never be able to get this video together and these actually take a long time to make as it is there's a long time spent building things then recording then I have to transfer files between my computer and I have to render and encode and edit and do all sorts of things that make the five minutes that you see of a video a hell of a lot longer for me and so know that with this show I'm always trying to provide quality with the video that you watch but I'm also making sure that everything I tell you is as accurate as I can know it is as well so I think that summarizes everything I want to say I want to say thank you to all of your support with this series as well I really enjoy making it you guys love it and that is a lot of fun so as always thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you next time